Hello everyone and welcome to Jojo's Break Time. Another mock that I decided to do from a little tiny set. So that's the little Heart Lake City Pizzeria set. I loved the look of it but I needed it to fit in into my city. So I decided to do it this way. I added some doors there. I love that brick built pizza sign so kept that and I kept that cuteness of the building being this size. I thought for this little build a corner build would work best. I added some masonry bricks there for added detail and texture. Added these arches in because I wanted to do like a little vine on top there. And the side building here is the little sandwich shop. So I was inspired that by that creator set. I added the little red and white awnings because I liked the colours there. So this is the brick built sandwich. So it's a little bit complicated to build. Lucky I had all the right parts to build it. So I put some ham, tomato, cheese and lettuce into it. I really love brick built signs as they are just so cute rather than just popping a stickered tile on. So that's there. And there's the little servery window to pass the food through once you've ordered it. I had lots of magenta bricks, that's why I chose that colour, but I think it really goes nicely here. So I just added some pot plant things to match in my main street, a little fire hydrant, a lamp and we got some tables and chairs because we're doing alfresco dining. So those table and chairs came, well one came with the pizza shop and I just made two sets of those. I thought in the corner would be nice adding like a little vine area so like a little trellis and that's how I did it I had this spare gate thing from like a castle set which I never used and I made it look like little wisteria growing because I had lots of these purple flowers finished clipping that on I just wanted to make sure they were lined up nicely yeah oh no I pushed over the post to pop that back on that looks really good there I feel anyway let's turn it around so because this is such a small little shop I made sure the pizza oven was part of the wall just to maximize the space on the inside of the shop so as you can see here it's a very teeny tiny shop and I wanted to give some extra bench space there and also fit that pizza oven in because I really liked it. I wasn't sure about the teal colour at first but <laughs> it's grown on me and I really like it. I hung up the utensils on the wall to maximise space. So here's Olivia, she's working here part time, serving up some yummy pizzas. So in the sandwich shop, there's the servery window section there. And I also popped a wall shelf on here for all the sauces and salt and peppers and other bits and pieces. And down here is the little kitchen area. So we've got some salad bits, some cheese and some bread. And here is a little vending machine. I had stickers of this and I just stuck them onto a window. Ethan and Leo work here because it's a very busy sandwich shop. So that's the bottom there. And I did the like apartment building removable. So I tiled that. So it's like a little mini modular style build. This fits in really nicely into my main street. So let's check out the apartment. Now I had lots of purple bricks, that's why I did it purple. And then I had lots of white parts and it looked really good doing these little windows. Well, that's what it looks like here on the side. But I did like ornate type windows to add extra details. And then I did these little window boxes. 
I used these curved bricks and the modder pipe plates to make the little window boxes and then they attach this way like the snot technique and it makes them look really cute so I did the same matchy matchy window boxes here and I felt the magenta looks so nice against the purple and the white so that's how that looks like there did the same type of window up here Uh, that sticker's from an old like jungle set I had and this is the side and I added extra details by using um, dots tiles there I used the scroll bricks which I really love and I had lots of the white flowers and they add extra texture to the walls there or railing that I did I did the same on this side. I had lots of the navy blue sloped bricks for the roof, that's why I did that. And up here is like a little garden, that's from the hotel set. I wanted to add like a little cute garden on top there. And you can see the little bathroom inside, so let's check out the bathroom. Very tiny, but it is there. My mini dolls need to have a shower, a toilet and a basin and it's nicely tiled there. Now a little tiny bed with a bedside table, quite a simple design and it's got a little bedside lamp. Can't fit much in here so there's just a little tiny chest of drawers with a magazine and a little I guess trinket there with a tiger. So that's the room there. And now the little lounge area. I had lots of bricks spare from an Emma's house that I had because I bought so many of them. And there's like a little side table here with a plant, the little bar, so that goes there. And then I made this big couch because the plan was my mini doll was going to sleep on the couch. That's why it's so big, but then I made a little tiny bedroom. So that fits nicely in there, so guests can stay there. Another little pillow goes there. Got a TV with little bits and bobs on the side on the little stand. So that fits nicely there. Little tiny coffee table and this very fancy lamp with a fancy lampshade. So this is part of the apartment and it's going to go on top of the sandwich shop. I just need to pop this little plate in here because it's going to hold it in place. So that's it there. Oh, I love these cutesy little buildings. They're not very wide. I like this. Okay, so the next part is where the kitchen's going to be. So this is slightly wider. I still kept that window look because I really like that but I didn't pop the planter box there because of the pizza sign. I still kept the little flowers up here for the detailing. I had quite a few of them. And then that's from uh, Emma's art studio little, little set from many years ago. I wanted to pop a vine up here because I love vines that grow up the building and just gives extra detail and colour. Another rooftop garden, so there's some veggies growing on this side and a little seating area there. Here's the little kitchen, I popped in a light there and hung up the cups and cutlery to save space. And now here's a little oven and stove top. So that goes in the corner over there. And then I did these little cabinets. Um, they are little hinges that I use to look like drawer fronts. And there's a little toaster there. So I made another one to go on this side. And then a little kitchen sink, because you need that. And there's the teeny tiny fridge. I did a short of that a while ago. So that fits in nicely here. And then just a little table and some stools. That's the kitchen section done. Time to put it on top of the pizza shop. So it fits nicely here. That's why I didn't do a planter box there because of the pizza sign. 
Now over here I need to put this curved plate in because it's like a walkway to join the apartment together and same up here. So that's my little tiny apartment above the pizza shop. Four of the girls have come to have some sandwiches and pizza for lunch. Andre is having a chat with Olivia. This is Sally and it's her apartment and she's got a little French poodle. And here she is relaxing while the poodle's playing with the bee. This is how the pizza shop and sandwich shop looks amongst my other builds. My custom pizza and sandwich shop set that I've built. I love repurposing little sets and making them a lot bigger and making them fit into my city. I love keeping the original look of the set but just improving it and this fits perfectly in into the main street, I made sure of that and I love the little sandwich shop and I never had that so that's why I built it like that. So everyone, get your bricks out, get building and get creative.